man dead and these two right here in jail following a manhunt over a Mother's Day robbery at a Save-A-Lot in Tampa. Deputies say that the robbers fired shots at deputies as they sped away from the scene. It all ended two days later in a quiet neighborhood in Carrollwood, just two miles from the store where the investigation began. 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen shows you how investigators tracked these men down. The Sheriff's Department learned a suspect, Pedro Gomez, was staying at this home on Lake Ellen Circle. On Tuesday afternoon, they went to survey the home. That's when they say Rico Dykes and a woman got in this black Mercedes and rammed police cruisers while trying to get away. Thankfully, they were able to block them in down at the end of the road and take these two individuals into custody without further incident. Then, after 20 minutes of negotiating with police, Pedro Gomez left the home and was taken into custody. The sheriff's department says per protocol, they then went inside the home. While inside, 26-year-old Victor Gomez, who was hiding in a closet, confronted them. He actually comes out of the closet with his arm all the way out, holding the gun, charging two of the task force members. They had no choice but to discharge their service weapons. Victor Gomez, brother to Pedro, died from those gunshot wounds. The investigation into the police-involved shooting and crimes that led up to it are ongoing. Rico Dykes was arrested on warrants out of Polk County. Pedro Gomez already faced charges for grand theft and dealing drugs. Now he's in custody in connection to the Save-A-Lot robbery.